Hundreds of stray cats are becoming an issue at a Columbia State prison. It's a situation the State Corrections Department is working to get under control with the help of local animal shelters. Here's Nate Stanley. Well, there are hundreds and hundreds of cats there. It's not the type of visitors you'd expect to see at a correctional facility, but according to Denise Wilkinson, the CEO of Palmetto Lifeline, hundreds of cats are calling Kirkland Correctional Facility home. She explains on a recent trip to the facility, she saw a large cat colony on the yard that was being taken care of by inmates. These cats mean a lot to some of the inmates, and they feed them and they care for them, and they don't want us to remove the cats. Um, and you know, pets and those relationships uh, do have value. Wilkinson says some employees at Kirkland are also volunteers at Palmetto Lifeline. They say they saw the cats and wanted to help out. According to the Department of Corrections, this isn't rare for prisons in the state. In a statement to News 19, the agency says, some of our institutions have cat colonies. That's common for prisons. The one at Kirkland is larger than others, and we wanted to get a better handle on managing it. As a result, Palmetto Lifeline plans to trap up to 50 cats next week and take care of them. We will spay and neuter them. We will vaccinate them. Any of the cats that are sick, we of course are going to treat their medical issues. She hopes to gather cats on Monday and Tuesday and then look after them throughout the week, return the fully grown cats who are feral, and put up the kittens for adoption. Wednesday morning, our vets will be performing the surgeries for all the cats, and on Thursday, all of the healthy cats will be returned. She adds this is the first time a partnership like this has been tested and is hopeful to expand to even more facilities. And uh, if it is successful, we hope to return in three months and repeat the same program. We have a responsibility to do the right thing, and the way we respond to problems in our community, it's a reflection of our values. And killing is never the answer. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX.